And now for our final band in this part of the competition, we have a local band, a band from Staten Island, New York. <laughs> Susan E. Wagner High School Jazz Band. Give them a welcome, and then please welcome their director, Mr. Paul Korn. so much. Thank you. Uh, please give a hand. That was the eighth veil by Duke Ellington for Gianna Chibori on the trumpet. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do a, a great Ellington classic from the movie score Anatomy of a Murder. It's entitled Flirty Bird. It's going to feature Max Slonim on the alto saxophone, Christian Meskis on the piano, and our own Clark Terry expert, if you will, Clark Terry part, uh, Tamar Garlington on the trumpet.
Thank you. Um, before we get to our last one, just, you know, everyone sitting here knows what an honor it is to be here. Still can't quite believe that we're here, but we're happy to be here. We're having so much fun. We went to Disney a couple weeks ago with the band. We're having more fun here. This might be the happiest place on earth. Um, <laughs> I have uh, just a couple of quick thank yous. I have to thank my family, who deals with me being at work all the time and somehow still loving me. Thank you for coming. My daughter, Lucia, my son, Rocco, my wife, Evita. Thank you to our principal, Mr. Grigini, who's here with his family. Thank you to Elizabeth Guillermo, the head of music for the city, who's here to listen. Thank you to all the family and friends. Sorry, uh, I'm not usually uh, super emotional, but they got me a little bit today, so these guys. Our last, our last tune is Congo Malense by the great A.K. Salim from the Machito Orchestra, and it will feature Max Lonham on the alto, Christian Mescus on the trumpet, and our outstanding Latin percussion section. We're here with Susan E. Wagner High School 
ba jazz band director Paul Korn, all the way from Staten Island, New York. Paul, first time at EE, you just came off the stage. How are you feeling? Um, it's like a dream come true. You know, the kids played so, so great. Oh, <laughs> I told them they might get me today. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, you know, it's a dream come true because the kids are amazing yep. and they put their heart and soul into it and they played with all their might and they didn't leave anything on the stage. They weren't, they didn't play nervous. Yep. All they did was have fun yeah. and the music felt authentic and they were dancing in their hearts. And yep. So, um, Talk a little bit about, so you're also the assistant principal at Wagner High School. Talk a little bit about the community support and the school support you have for not just the jazz band, but your whole program. I mean, what we have is, is really special because we have a, a thriving performing and visual arts program, uh, music, dance, theater, and visual art. And we have a principal who supports the heck out of it. And we just have a community that knows that we value the arts. And we have students who love it and use it as you know it's not an art school yeah. but we have an arts program that a student who wants to can go on to being a professional or make a career in it somehow but what they take away from it is more important because they're going to be artists for their lives right. and they'll enjoy art and they'll have that in their in their lives which we believe is important so i'm going to give away one of paul's secrets and uh, if you saw the fox news five uh little piece on you guys yesterday talk a little bit about the last thing you did with these kids to try and get the rhythmic feel together because when I stepped into rehearsal yesterday I went is the whole band dancing talk about that a little bit so uh, you know we've been working on the music for a while and they had a very good level and you know always always trying to peel away to the next to the next thing to help them reach a more authentic level mm -hmm. and they were doing so many things well but it was a little inconsistent so first we tried, I had the dance teacher, I asked her if she would bring the kids in to the Black Box Theater one day, and they played for the kids, and we asked them to dance, and it was cool, but it didn't really change anything. So we always talk about it being dance music, but I never had them dance. So I asked them to close their eyes and start dancing a two-step, <laughs> which they weren't too pleased about at first, but they were cool with it after a day or two, and it helped them, they could immediately feel where the time wasn't, it, it took away all the inconsistency. And all I had to do now is just feel natural about yeah, it. They internalize the rhythm. Yeah. 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 So let's, let's have you step out and get your kids in here a little bit. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Uh, say your name and what year you are in school. My name is Christian Maskus, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm a senior. My name is Gianna Chabori, and I'm a senior. So, Gianna, we're going to start with you. You let off. I mean, we've only heard the eighth veil, I'm going to say, in, in the last decade, maybe one other time. And you, I mean, you, you let off the whole show. How did, how did it feel to do that? I, were you nervous at all? You didn't look nervous at all. No, I was, I was shaking with nervousness. <laughs> but I, it was, like, exhilarating. So I was really excited nonetheless. It was just really, really nerve-wracking at first. So. And, and who, other than Duke's recording of this with Kat Anderson, was there anything else you listened to to help prepare you for this? I was inspired by Marcus Princeps playing. Oh. I saw a concert in June with Jazz at Lincoln Center, and... His, I, it just stuck with me, and every time I hear him play, I have, there's a recording on YouTube. I always listen to that, and I feel so inspired. So That's awesome. And Christian, you, you played, I don't know if people caught this, not only the trumpet solo and last piece, but you played piano on Flirty Bird. What's it like to do kind of double duty like that? And I also hear you're a pretty good pitcher on a baseball team. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's awesome being able to play both because I get to take everything that I learned on piano or everything I learned on trumpet and just mix it into both. So I get the, I really get the best of both worlds, I feel. That's awesome. What are you doing next year, Christian? I'm going to SUNY Purchase to play, uh, play piano and trumpet in their jazz program, and I'm also playing baseball there. And what are you doing next year? I'm also going to SUNY Purchase to major in jazz trumpet. Awesome. Well, congratulations, and uh, congratulations to you, Paul. Staten Island, represent. And that concludes part two. Thank you so much. We will be back at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to catch competition part three, the last three bands, the first one up. Longtime EE finalist from Seattle, Washington, Garfield High School. We'll be right back, 28th Annual Central Ellington Festival and Competition here from the House of Swing, Jazz Lincoln Center.